What's happening everybody? It seems that the rage amongst photographers over the last year and a half or so has been camper vans. Uh, everybody from Thomas Heaton to Paul Johnson uh, to Mike Perea are all getting camper vans. And I'm going to show you what I've used for the last three years and it's not a camper van. For those that are coming to the channel on the camper side, um, I'm a photographer full-time and travel th throughout the United States, everywhere from Portland, Maine to Miami, Florida to Las Vegas, uh, Michigan, Texas, everywhere in between. And so I'm on the road a lot and a lot of times I don't have to mix with people too much. So I'll stay in the back of the truck and it saves a lot of money as far as hotel expenses and the such. So to show you my setup real quick, this is a ARE uh, camper top. This is the one with the vertical door on it, which I love. It makes it easy getting in and out rather than having a tailgate that drops and hitch pops up. Um, you can see kind of how it fits on the side of the truck here. But this is one of the options I do. I mean, I, I've done everything from tent camping to hammock camping uh, on these trips and I've got another uh, thing that I camp in that I'll do a video on here sh very soon. In fact, I'll be using it this weekend on a shoot. But just kind of show you what I've got. Uh, it's got the vertical door, it locks, and then it's also got two side latches here that, that also work. But the door just opens up like so. and for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to use this door so you can see it a little bit better. But we'll pop this open. And that gives us access to the back of the truck. Now, do some adjustments. Inside the truck, I have built a table on this end. It's got two legs. Both of these legs are removable, like so. Uh, which makes it easy for me to if I need to slide stuff in, I can. Uh, this is a mosquito net that goes on the back. Uh, but I've got the table here, and this is how I eat. It straps down to this here, which I've got. I keep food and stuff in here in, in propane. And basically it slides on these rails right here, which are just shelving. Uh, shelving strips that I bought from home improvement store uh, but this strap helps keep this in place as well as hold this down of course I got a, a fan and I keep some other stuff under here uh, just out of the way for sleeping this is what I use and this is a old foam bed topper uh, that we were actually getting rid of at the house and we we're putting another one on and I've tri-folded it so it's three thick and then I've taken a winter um, bedspread and put over top of it it's got the real thick fleece in it and I put it around it and it's uh, attached on each end so it makes like a pocket that holds that foam inside then I've just got a twin sheet over top and it's actually very very comfortable uh, this is not me being freaky with the little leopard skin stuff uh, actually my daughter had it when she was young and I use it just to kind of keep me off the side of the truck a little bit. Uh, I've got a sheet and a, a small stadium seat here. Uh, up above you see my tent, zero degree bag, spin around and got hiking sticks here. Uh, I'll keep my uh, backpack in here as well and just store back up into here and I can move it around however I need to. And um, for my trips, which I'm hiking down in the canyon of uh, Limble Gorge, for instance. Of course, you got windows on each side that slide open. It does get hot in here, uh, mostly during the summer. I'm only in here at night anyway, so it's not too big a deal when I have the fan running. And I'll set the fan here and have it circulating there through. Um, also, up above, let's do this. I've got a cargo net holds these two reflectors 
and I put those in the windows for privacy. It also helps keep some of the heat out at times. And uh, I mean, it, it works great. I've done it for three years uh, on the road like this, and I can't tell you how much money it saved. Now, I knew these things were about twenty-eight, twenty-nine hundred bucks, is my understanding. Uh, I actually found this one on Craigslist uh, for two hundred fifty bucks from a used car dealer that um, it was on a truck that they had traded for, and uh, it was for my model truck slightly different color where my truck's black and this is a like a, a gray type color but it works fine and I've probably saved four or five thousand dollars in hotel expenses if not more uh, by getting this top I also have a seat that's right here I can put my laptop up here and eat from it but it's a uh, it really is comfortable back here and makes things easy um keep my shoes off over here and let's set you up <clears throat> and you can see i can get my work done right here while i'm out sit down i've got plenty of headroom air circulating through with the windows open it makes it pretty easy then i just slide over to the side and i can lay down and go to sleep now, the thing I do like about the top is it's very easy to boondock. Um, I can park in a parking lot and nobody bats an eye. Um, if I had to, I could even park on the side of the street in a parking spot, which I actually have done several times. Once in Brooklyn, New York, um, and once in St. Louis, Missouri. And nobody thinks a thing about it. No, I, most of the time you have free parking late at night. I'm up in the morning before you can't be parked there and on the road again. So it gives you an idea of my home away from home for the majority of the time. Uh, I do have a 300 watt inverter inside the cab of the truck in which I charge my, I can charge my drone batteries, I can charge the laptop battery, uh, I can sh and of course I can charge my camera batteries as well with no problem at all. So, this is what I use instead of a camper van, and uh, this weekend I've got another means of camping that I'll share with you in a future video, but I'll film it this weekend, and this is what I got. Until next time.